All right, so I hope you watched my video on Coastal Salish art elements or design elements. And now I wanna give you an opportunity to put those to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of make ourselves a, a great space. If you have an idea for doing this, please push forward with your idea. But I wanna just give you an idea here that might kind of come out like an animal face. So much of our coastal artwork is our depictions of animals that have been done artistically using these design elements. So I'm gonna come up and I've got this kind of rectangular area with curved corners. And I'm gonna make a couple of ears and I'm gonna curve my lines inward right there all my corners curvy now I'm going to go to work dividing this page up very lightly because I'm not going to see any of these lines hopefully when I'm done and these are going to be the lines that kind of keep me in check Kind of form my drawing, but I'm also okay to go outside of these lines. I'm not gonna be bound by these lines, they're guidelines. Ah, it's right in between those two. So I think what I'm looking for. Gonna go real softly, draw very lightly. Give myself an, myself an area, and then I am going to start using these lines to create my animal face. If I was nervous about freehanding this, I could also Draw some more lines to help me. And I can come across here, bring this line in, and use those guidelines. And what I've just done is I've formed a mouth. And then this is gonna separate my teeth. And I want you to go very slowly, very carefully as we do this. But I also want you to have fun and be creative as you explore this timeless design work that for me is just spectacular. I really enjoy drawing this way. All right, so it looks like I've got some kind of predator or carnivore because I see the canines coming out. And I'm gonna bring my mouth across. I'm not gonna draw this whole guided drawing because I really wanna see what you can do. It may be that you don't have any canines at all in your design. And you've got an animal that's not a predator. It might be a plant eater. And so, it might be that your design is quite different from mine, and I love that. It might be that mine now has changed into a beaver. All right, but we have some options to change in the ears, our eyes. My eyes are gonna be ovoids with that flat bottom, curved top, also like to tuck it tight on the bottom, a little bit of space as I come around nice and wide up at the top. All right. And I am going to want you to do this same thing with an animal face. 
and start to create your Salish design work using the crescents, the ovoids, the split U-forms, the trigons. I want you to go slow and carefully as we honor this beautiful style of artwork. And I think this is about the end of the road for my drawing. I think I'm going off camera and I'm gonna finish my design. Start with that bear shape, that beaver shape, and see where you can go with it. All right, cheetahs, happy Indigenous Peoples Day, and work hard on these Salish designs as you begin to try to master the elements of, again, what is just a timeless, beautiful art.